We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. A good matchup here for you tonight between the L.A. Dodgers and the San Diego Padres. Stepping into the box, Justin Turner. And we are set for baseball here this evening. The 2-1. And this will miss as well. So he's in danger of losing the leadoff man here tonight. It's 3-1 and one now. Grounded to the right. And that is through into right field for a single. That is into the box now Corey Seager in for a strike and he jumps ahead one and two now Richards has racked up over 800 innings in his big league career and in that time he's compiled a whip under 1.3 translation he's better than league average in that category so it was a strikeout swinging Corey Seager goes down for the first out of the game set and the two and one pitch back up the middle and that gets through for a one out base hit. That is four. The right field. Cody Bellinger. To the plate now. Cody Bellinger. Full count to Bellinger. Three balls, two strikes. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. And that'll bring up the versatile Max Muncy. He went deep in the contest last night. Ready with the 1-1. One -one. They're facing right-handed pitching so far this season. Muncy carries a batting line a little over the 260 mark. Ready with the 1-2. And two. tight with the slider 2-2. Two and two. Protecting with two strikes went out of the zone that time but he stays alive. The set and the 2 2. Here's a swing and a little tapper in front of the mound. On to first and the Dodgers come up with nothing as that ends the inning. Ready now Juan Ligaris. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number one. Here's Will Myers. It was a two hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's one and two now. And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Looking for back to back K's to start the game. Outside and a full count, three and two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Now a ball hit hard toward first. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. The throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. So now to the plate, Tommy Pham called strike, and he's behind one and two. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Peterson on the run. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Man at second here with two away. And up steps the big bat of Fernando Tatis Jr. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hit hard back up the middle. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired.
Next for the Dodgers, Jock Peterson. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. The three and one pitch. And great extension as he drives this one high in the air and deep the other way. It crashes off the Western Metal Building and it's out of here. Into the box, Will Smith. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Two and two to the Dodgers catcher. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. Into a slide, and he makes a great catch for the first down. So digging in now, Zach McKinstry. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate McKinstry. last night. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. So here's the Dodgers pitcher, Alex Wood, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now the one and one pitch. You got two balls, one strike. A nice job of bouncing back after the leadoff homer. Two quick outs after the bomb, and he's got a chance to get out of this. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Myers is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. And in steps Manny Machado. Lifetime history with Alex Wood. He's hitless in three at bats. Now the one and one pitch. Nope. Brian Dozier will be next. Three and one. Here it is. Popped him up. Turner will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up the power hitting second baseman, Brian Dozier. Now the 2 1 pitch. Here's a swing and a high pop up, drifting toward the third base dugout. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Next to the plate for the Padres, Josh Naylor will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Count even at two and two. Now a little pop up off toward the third base side. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory and that ends the inning. of the third set to get underway and that'll give way to the third baseman Justin Turner checks his swing but this will be strike two call Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there going right after one of the better hitters on this team not afraid to execute and the throw will indeed take care of him for the first out so one away here with the bases empty. And up next, the former All-Star shortstop, Corey Seager. The 1-1. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Myers is under it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. The 1-1 one, one home. Popped up. Naylor trying to get there. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning.
Digging in now for San Diego. Francisco Mejia is coming off a three hit performance in the loss last night. Pitch taken several inches below the zone in fact. He's fallen behind now three and one. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. And a bunt attempt misses, so he's behind now one and two. That's not great form right there, but you can't be surprised. A lot of these guys were not asked to bunt coming up through the minor leagues, so don't expect every sack bunt to get down. Here's Juan Lagares looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. 1 1. This is on the ground over to first. The second for one. Back to the pitcher covering. It's a double play, and the inning is over. will be the Dodgers cleanup hitter Cody Bellinger he got called out on strikes his last time through yeah pretty deflating at bat right there Maddie not only for him but the team as well he's got to find a way to pull the trigger can't get caught guessing with runners in scoring position this guy's been throwing the ball great so far but it's going to be tested here four five and six coming up this part of the lineup still two and two 50th pitch of the game on its way. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Next up is Max Muncy. Over one for him here in this one. The 2 2. Hit hard on the ground to second. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. Now the center fielder. Jock Peterson. In now, Jock Peterson. Fouled away. Bellinger on second. Muncy at first with no outs. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Myers going back. And this will get all the way to the wall now. Bellinger blows through the stop sign, headed for home. Safe at the plate, as it's now a 2 0 ball game. Up next to the bottom, the pitcher will miss. Standing in now, Will Smith. Fastball in there, three and two. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. The next three, two. Line towards center field. And that's in there, base hit. Now it's cut off, a throw to the plate. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Now that second baseman, Zach McKinstry. Stepping in now, Zach McKinstry. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. Three and two now. And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. Machado is under it as he puts it away for round number one. So a runner at first with one out now. And that left-handed pitcher who bats right, Alex Wood, will hit next. Here's the one-and-one one delivery. And he misses the bunt attempt, so it's a ball and two strikes now. Swing and a liner. And that's into the outfield for a one-out hit. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. 
Drew Pomerantz answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Now pitching for the Padres. Number 15. At the plate now, Justin Turner pulls this one in the air out to left. Left fielder giving chase. And the play is made, but this should be good enough for an RBI as the runner from third tags up. And the run is in to score from third. Digging in once again, Corey Seager. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. The 1-1. One, one. Count is two and one. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Here now the 2-2. Down the line and fair. That's a hit. And this will get to the wall over near the 336 marker. He pulls into second safely as also on the play a run comes across now to score. Into the box now, Mookie Betts. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And he will get there as he had to cover a lot of ground to make that play, and that ends the inning. Trying to pick things up where he left off, Will Myers. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. The 1-1 home. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next, it'll be the outfielder, Tommy Pham. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. Fastball well outside. No runs, just one hit. No errors in the ballgame for the Padres. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. That pitch was way down on two and two, but give the hitters some credit there. Sometimes with two strikes, you're more off to expand the strike zone, but he didn't and held off on that one that wasn't even close. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. High in the air out to center field. Peterson has a read on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So here's the cleanup hitter, Cody Bellinger. He'll start off the fifth in this one. Now the one and one pitch. One ball and two strikes to count. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Into center field, line drive base hit. So the Dodgers get their leadoff hitter on base to kick off the inning. To the plate now, Max Muncy in for strike two. Six runs, nine hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. And the knuckle curved that time. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. So a runner on first with one out now. And in steps a former World Series hero, the outfielder Jock Peterson. Runner goes for second. Pitch inside the throw. 
is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. Popped up. Dozier is there. And he makes the catch for the second out. Digging in and looking for more. Will now Smith. Back. Runner yep. in scoring position Will. with two gone. This is skied into short left center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And standing in is the veteran third baseman, Manny Machado. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Grounded back up the middle. And a base hit. So early trouble to lead off the inning. The batter, Second baseman, Brian. In now, Brian Dozier. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So now to the plate, Josh Naylor. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. None out, runners at first and second. And I don't think that's what he wanted to do as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. Stepping into the box, Francisco Mejia. He drew a walk his first time up. The 1-1. One -one. Line toward the alley in left center. Lays himself out and makes a spectacular catch. And not in time as the run scores. Jurickson Profar will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 10, Jurickson. Line down the left field line. But this is going to get foul. Runners are at the corners with one man out. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And that'll bring up a former gold glover. Here's Juan Lagares. The one two. Weakly hit to third. Off balance throw, but he couldn't get enough on it, so it'll be scored as an infield single. The right fielder, number four. Into the box, Will Myers. Now a breaking ball, but it's low. All even now, two and two. A bouncer to the left side. He's got it. In the dirt, and oh, he can't quite dig it out. Digging in to try it again. Tommy Pham, eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. Line drive to center field. Peterson is there now as he makes the catch and they're able to avoid the huge inning here as the side is retired. Matt Strom will come on to make his 40th appearance this season. 
number 55. Top half of the sixth about to get started and set to go is the second baseman, Zach McKinstry. The 3-2 pitch. Scorched to third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Next up for Los Angeles, Alex Wood. Getting to hit for himself here, largely due to the big cushion he's got to work with. Fouled off. One out, nobody on. To two balls and two strikes now. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. This is line to left. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. So the lineup card turns over with one away following the base hit out of the pitcher's spot. Now that the third base hit. Standing in now, Justin Turner. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Line drive to left. Sam is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Into the box now, Corey Seager. It was an RBI double for him in his last turn to the plate. And he's got to build off that last AB. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in. And the center fielder is under it to make the catch, and the inning is over. Ross Stripling enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 68. Ross. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring forth the slugging shortstop, Fernando Tatis Jr. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. That was a nasty sweeping slider right there. If he was able to just catch the Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. The third baseman, number 15, Manny Machado. Into the box now, Manny Machado. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. The batter, number nine. Brian Dozier second at the plate. Baseman. He scored after reaching Brian. on a single in his last time up. Dozier. 1-1. One, one. In the dirt here. Runner holds as the count moves to 2-1. and one. Has a look. Now the pitch. Easy there, big fella. 2-2. Two and two. Now a throw over to first. And he'll dive back in. And another throw over. Runner back safely. Runners on first with one down. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Now at the plate, Josh Naylor. It was a walk in his last trip. And that fastball's taken but catches the outer third. Hard on the ground towards short. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts, and he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. And he's way off balance with the swing there.
Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. Cody Bellinger will be next. Pulls this one in the air out to left. On the move is Ligares. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. One gone now in the L.A. seventh, and that brings in the former National League Rookie of the Year, Cody Bellinger. A 1-1. Bases are empty, one man out. And this will be fouled away. And he fouls this one off. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Back up the middle. But that finds its way through for a base hit. Legs churning. He's headed for second. He hit the corner and tries for third. The relay. But he is in there with a triple. Now back the first baseman. Matt Murphy. At the plate now, Max Muncy yanked the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. A slider that time that runs away. It's three and one now. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Called strike two, and now it's full three and two. One of the most frustrating things for me to watch in this game is guys getting count leverage and not pull the trigger on a fastball middle in. That's why you play, to get in those situations where you can try and do damage. What do you want, the nasty slider? And he misses with one here. It's ball four. So that'll at least bring the double play into the conversation with runners at the corners and one away. A little bit outside. Two and one. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2-2. Gets him looking up around the letters. Striding in, Will Smith. And their runners at the corners now. Runners on first and third, two away. And he misses two and one. Not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Here's the game within the game. You have a better matchup on deck. You got a three-one count in this situation. Don't be afraid to put him on base and attack the next guy. Luis Perdomo is in out of the bullpen now, as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Greg Garcia is into the ball game as well, as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Chris Taylor will be called on as a pinch hitter here in a big, big spot. He'll have the bases loaded with two out in the inning. Bases are loaded here, two down. Line drive to left. Fam is there to make the catch and they'll escape the bases loaded jam by giving up just one run. Joe Kelly gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 17. Digging in, Francisco Mejia. He'll swing it from the left side right here. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And a knuckle curve missed that time, two and one. Three and one now. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. The three one. He is swung on and missed. A full count now. Hey, there was great arm action on that three one changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit changeup? 
or do you stay with the heater? So he racks up the swinging now strikeout on the breaking ball. Man. Francisco Mejia is retired for the first out in the bottom half of the seventh inning. Now the one and one pitch. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. The one two. One out nobody on. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to two and two now. Popped him up. Turner is under it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Two outs now in the San Diego seventh. And that'll bring up a former gold glover. Here's Juan Lagares. Now the one and one pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. And that'll get down for a base hit. So Will Myers will get a chance to bat this inning following the base hit. The right fielder, number four, Will Myers. Stepping in now, Will Myers into the corner and slicing foul. Takes this the other way to right. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. Ligares rounds the corner and is headed home. He will score as it's now a 7-3 game. Next to the ball game. No Tommy. To the plate now. Tommy Pham hit hard to short. Throw on to Muncie gets him and with that they'll end the inning. Greg Stammen has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 34. Greg. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Justin Turner. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here's the one and one pitch. Turner swings, and it's a very well hit ball to left. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. The batter, number five, shortstop, Corey Seager. In now, Corey Seager. 1-1 one, one pitch is a sinker taken for a strike one and two. Two balls and two strikes to Corey Seager. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. A bouncer up the middle. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Here's Mookie Betts. The battle. The left field. Mookie Betts. The 2 1 pitch. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. Garcia ranging into shallow right. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now Two away for the Dodgers here in the eighth. And that'll bring forward Cody Bellinger. And he missed with it there. Ball four. It's a two out walk with the runner still at third. Up next to the Dodgers. Now in the box, the Max Muncy. He's Max. working on a one for three thus far. A one one. No, that's cold. Boy, this hole he's digging on the mound is all his doing. If you can't throw strikes, you're not going to be out there very long. Yank fouled off to the right. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. There's a shin-high slider laid off for a ball. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And it's fouled away. Oh. 
And he misses again, ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Here's Jock Peterson now. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. You know, Matty, tough to go down looking right there, especially in a long at bat. I kind of tip my hat to the fact that he didn't go into uber swing mode. He battled. He just got locked up. Look for him to have another quality A-B. I think he's seeing the ball pretty darn big right now. Even count two balls and two strikes. Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. Will Smith would be next if they can keep this inning alive. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. Emilio Pagan answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam, but needs just one out to get out of it. Will Smith will be the first one to greet him, and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. And able to lay off the fastball the way here. Two and one now. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. On oh, a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch, wanted to stay back a little bit too long. He's set. Here's the two-two. Too high. Ball three. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Kenley Jansen will come on now, and he'll slide into the seventh spot in the lineup following the double switch. Austin Barnes will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Number 15, Austin Barnes. Padre shortstop ahead with a three ball one strike count. Right guy right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. And it's up to a three two full count now. Count is three and two. Sent on the ground out to second. And the throw to first is in time one gun. So one man gone for the Flyers in their half of the eighth. And standing in now, the always dangerous third baseman, Manny Machado. Now the three and two pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Betts will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Eric Hosmer will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 30. Down the first baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0 2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Pulled toward right center field. On the move is Peterson. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Jose Castillo enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one and that'll bring in the second baseman Zach McKinstry. The 1 1 home. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. So far this year against Southpaws McKinstry is a batting line residing in the 230s. Matty, he struggled this season against left-handed pitching, but maybe a little shot of confidence with the manager putting him in the lineup today. And that is in the left field, so the leadoff man's aboard to kick off the ninth. Now back. 
Into the box, Austin Barnes. Two balls and a strike to count to Austin Barnes. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Down the left field line and deep. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. He's set. Here's the three and two. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first out. Now back to the top of the Dodgers order. Digging in, Justin Turner. He hit a two-bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Scott Alexander, a six foot two inch left hander, jogs in to take over on the hill. Now to the plate, Josh Naylor. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Alexander is among a dying breed. Those lefty specialists whose roles belted high and deep into right center. Peterson looks up onto the party porch and gone. Standing in now, Francisco Mejia. One and two now. The count is one and two. And this is popped fouled off to the right and back into the seats. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Digging in for his second at bat, Greg Garcia. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. The one-two misses for the second ball. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Bellinger is there. Two down. The San Diego batting order turns over and set to go. Juan Ligares. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. Two out, nobody on. San Diego down to their final strike. In tight with the slider, two and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw on to first is going to be in time for the final out. And the Dodgers have taken the rubber match of this three-game set as this ball game is over. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. 8-4 tonight. Los Angeles took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Alex Wood earns his sixth winning decision in this one. Garrett Richards permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.
Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Dodgers, eight runs on 13 hits, one error. They left 12 men on base. For the Padres, four runs on eight hits, no error. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 22 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Petco Park, a sellout, 40,209. The Padres thank you for your continued support and remind you to please drive home safely. Good night.